In this video, we will be using AI to generate this website mockup and with this mockup, edit the design using Photoshop and Figma to our own desires. The products we'll be using today will be Midjourney to come up with the AI generated concepts, ChatGPT for the titles, and finally, we will be using Photoshop and Figma to play with the design to our own desires. Let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is come over to Midjourney, which is this website here. First thing you want to do is create an account, but once you've done that, just click on join the beta. So click on that. It should open up a Discord page for you. And all you want to do is come over to here and click on accept invite. So just click on that and let it load. Perfect. So we are on the page. This may look a bit intimidating, but just ignore this info tab here and come down to a newcomer room. Let's go with uh, newbies184. So just click on that one. Uh, scroll to the very bottom. And the way this works is you just type in your prompt here. So for example, let's do something like slash imagine. So by doing that, you can put in a prompt. So let's do something like create a beautiful, simple website about skiing. Oops, skiing. And then you can put in some tags. Actually, I might get rid of this comma. Uh, we can put in UI, UI slash UX, website, web design. Yeah, that sounds good. And actually might make it a landing page. So a simple website landing page about skiing. Perfect. So once you've done that, you've written your prompt, you just hit enter. So after hitting enter, um, the request has been received. It's at 0% right now. Um, so give it some time for it to load. And soon you'll start to see the designs pop up on the screen. Here they are. Let's see what they're looking like. Uh, should be down here somewhere. Oh yeah, here. Perfect. So these are the designs that it came up with. Um, I'm not a fan of either of the four designs. I mean, they all look quite cool, but for this tutorial it might be a bit tricky to recreate these based on their composition. So what I might do, and if you're not happy with the design, so you can come back here and you can actually click on this arrow here and this will generate new ideas for you. So I'm just gonna click on that now and see what happens. Oh yeah, here, so it's been received. Just give it a bit of time. All right, cool. So new ideas have been generated for us. This design here looks quite nice. It's nice and simple, easy to work with. And I think for a tutorial, be quite nice so let's stick with this one so what you want to do now is come over to the version you like so let's do u2 and what happens now it's going to refine that and send in a higher quality to us so just give it some time so here is the final outcome just click on that this is starting to look quite nice the next step is to just click on open in browser and this will open up a higher resolution so what we want to do now is just save this in a local folder. And once you've done that, we will open this in Photoshop and start to remove all the unnecessary items. So things like the text, the buttons, and the nav bar. So we can start putting in our own items using Figma. So once you've opened it up in Photoshop, the next step is to remove any elements you don't want to have present for the Figma design. So what we can do is come over to this rectangle here Let's click on that so come over to this tool here rectangular marquee tool drag it over an element you no longer want to see and what you want to do is hit backspace and then this message will pop up make sure this is set to content aware set the mode to normal and leave it at 100 percent hit ok and that will remove it. And then to deselect, you just go control D and that takes you back to what it was before. And what we'll do is pretty much repeat that entire process. So backspace, hit enter, control D to deselect and so forth. So what I might do now is speed up the process. And once it's done, we'll get into the next stage. All right, perfect. So it looks like I've cleaned up 
all the icons. So the next thing we want to do is unclick on the lock, set it to a smart object, and then what we can do is we can expand it out. It's a tad. Awesome. Maybe a little bit back. Just like that. That's looking good. And then I'm just going to crop it the size I want. So something like that. Awesome. That's starting to look really good. The next step is to save this as well as the original image as two separate files. We'll place them in Figma and then start playing around to create a really nice looking website. So once you've completed the Photoshop part, the next step is to actually create the interface itself. So come over to the frame icon here and then click on desktop. Perfect. And then the next step is we want to place our images in. These two here. One and two. So the original one will be used as a reference. And then this one will be what we'll be designing on. So just drag that out in the center. Drag this down. Yeah, that looks good. Perfect. Next step is click on here. Come over to grid. Click on this. Set to columns, put in 10, and we'll also set the opacity to about 3% just for now. That looks really good. The next step is click on your image and then click on the lock icon. And the first thing we're going to work on is the nav bar. So what we're going to do is right click, come over to plugins, and there's a plugin you can install called Iconify. So click on that. If you're wondering on how to actually install it, come over to this icon here, and then you can actually type it up and install it. So once you've installed it, just search up mountain, which I've done here, click on this, and then come down here, select import icon, and drag this up over the top, increase it, put it right on that corner of that Padding we just added. Yep, that looks good. Change the color to F F F F F F F. Looking good. Come over to the T and type in New Zealand Ski Rentals. Click on K and we want to resize it. And the font we'll be using for this video is Book Antiqua, which is this one here. Once you've done that, click on the bold, set it to italic, and we also want to set color to white. So F, 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 F. Perfect. That looks good. I might actually decrease the size of this. So click on K, bring it back a bit, see how that looks. Looks okay. I might actually increase the spacing in the letters by 5%, maybe 10%. Yep, that looks really good. And drag that up. Okay, that logo is starting to look quite nice. The next part is to add the list itself. So we'll just, first of all, create a group of this and call it logo, logo. Then what we might do is double click on this, copy it, bring it up to here, set the text line to the right. And we'll put in contact and change the color to this one here. It's 3333 three, three, three repeating for the color code. Copy paste, put in about, copy paste, shop, and finally uh, home. I don't like the sizes of these, so I'm going to decrease these to about 16. Do it to the same with the contact button. Bring this across, bring it down that way. Let's align it better, so align horizontally. Yeah, that's looking nice. I might bring this up a bit, make sure it's centered. Cool, that's starting to look really, really cool. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is to add in the heading here that it's got. So what we might do is come over to our text option here. And what I've done is with chat GPT, 
I sent in a request to give me headings and paragraphs for chat GBT to come up with. So for example, say if I copy and paste this into here, um, chat GBT will generate ideas and concepts of what can be used for the website for the text. Um, so I've already done a few, so we can get straight into them. So the heading we're gonna use for this video is this one here, gear up for an adventure. And you can trial this out yourself. So we're just go on the chat GPT website. So we'll just copy and paste that one. Perfect, let's set that to bold. Let's increase the size a bit. That looks good. Bring this back, Oop. change it to move. So, or you can click on V, bring it back. Fix that up. I uh, might change the capitals like that. Gear up for an adventure. I'm going to click on scales again. Yep, that's looking good. And I might go into the font itself and change the spacing to 0%. Yep, I'm happy with that. Perfect. So the next thing we want is a paragraph for it. So I'm just going to copy this, bring it over to here. Let's drag that up, go into our generated paragraphs. And the one we're going to use is this one here. So we'll just copy and paste this, double tap on here, and we'll just paste that in. Come over to here, select move, drag this back like so, text align to left. And then we also want to change the color to a gray. So this gray here, gray three, the code for that is 828282. And we want to change it to regular. Let's see how that looks. Yep, that looks really nice. Drag this up a bit. Might actually pull this back. Perfect, that's starting to look good. One last thing, I might change the spacing to about 25, maybe 20, 23 maybe. Cool, that's starting to look good. What I might actually do is go back to the image and I might rescale it up slightly so that it can be seen better. Yeah, that's starting to look really, really nice. Okay, the next step we want to do is to make the button. So we'll come over to the rectangle here, uh, drag out a rectangle, come over to the padding here and set it to about 10. That looks good. What we might actually do is turn this off so we can see it better and drag that down a bit. Yeah, that looks good. Next step is to come over here and then the color, put in FFB042 as the color. So that works well with the jumper of the skier. Click on this, copy and paste it, bring it to the front. So just drag it up, change this to book now for higher, center it, reduce the size of it, change the color to FFFFF so it's white. We might also do is change it to bold so it's easier to see. That's starting to look good. Maybe drag this down a bit. Perfect. And what I might do is group this and call it button, so BTN. I might group these two as well and call it contents. Awesome. Maybe drag that up a bit. Perfect, that's starting to look really, really nice. The next step is to create a basic footer. So instead of having this, I just want it to be a very basic landing page. So at the bottom, instead of having this, it will just be a very basic footer. So in order to do that, I'm just going to come over to the nav, copy that, come down here, and we might turn on the padding again just so we can see where we're working from. Oh, click on this and come back over to here, and we want to set it to bold change this to location in brackets address set the text align to left copy and paste bring this down just got an address that we can use drag that down a bit that looks good so the color for this is 828282 copy and paste this 
bring it over to here, change this to phone. And I've also got a phone number that we can use. We'll just use this one. Yep, that looks good. We'll just group those and group those. And the final thing we want to add is some social media links. So what you can do is go into the plugin tab and use the exact same plugin, Iconify, and you can search up for things like Instagram, Facebook. But I've already done that just to speed up the process. And I'm going to paste that into here. Oh, drag these so that it aligns with that. That looks good. So the color for these are again, 828282. And we'll just group that. Might come up here, turn that off. And now we'll just start to refine the design. So we'll just grab these, we'll center them. That looks good. Maybe drag that down a tad, maybe up. Ah, we'll drag it down a bit. Make sure it's aligned. Perfect. Make sure the button looks good. Maybe increase it slightly. Yeah, that looks good. And we might also see if that's aligned. Bring it up so that, yeah, that looks good. Bring it back. Perfect. So that's pretty much the design for the AI website. One last thing we can do if you want is we can add a nice little animation for the Figma preview. So we can do is copy and paste the same canvas, drag this out. What we might do is grab all the elements we added. And what we want to do is drag these down, come into the design tab, and we want to set the opacity to 0%, like so. That looks good. And then come over to the image here, uncheck the lock. And then what we want to do is just double click that, bring it out like that, get out of there. And then what you want to do is click on the desktop, come over to prototype, come over to here, drag this over to there, and come up here, click on after delay. We'll set that to how it is, and then the time to 1,500, and set it to ease in, ease out, the smart animate. And another thing we might also do is set the opacity to, of this to zero, so that if we want to preview it, let's click on the plus here, this is how it looks. Do it one more time. Perfect, that looks really good. So if you did enjoy this video, let me know. Um, if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to help you out. And if you'd like to see more videos about Figma, front-end development, or even UI design, let me know. And I will catch you in the next video. See you later.